welcome. It's Todd from Heavenly Tai Chi and welcome to your transforming 30 minutes learning Tai Chi and Qigong. This is episode 8 of the series and it's great to have you here today. Now, a little bit of brief introduction, Tai Chi and Qigong, what is it? Tai Chi and Qigong are a, is a physical practice that you can do anywhere and any place. Qigong literally translates as working with life's energy. I like to say it's a standing meditation. Tai Chi literally translates as the ultimate. It's a moving meditation. So you've got, you're working with life's energy to reach the ultimate, okay? So the ultimate to you could be, could be anything, to be honest with you, but I like to say to my students, it's about having balance in your life and you can use these two tools to create the balance in your life. So let's get into it. We always start with a warm up, then we go into a Qigong sequence, which is our standing meditation, and then we move into our Tai Chi, which is our moving meditation. The way the Tai Chi works is that we're working through a series. So if this is your first time here, I recommend you check out the playlist because within that we've started from one, the first part of the series and each time we add a little bit onto the Tai Chi sequence. So this is episode eight, we get to the Tai Chi sequence, we do all the way up to push the ocean way, the next movement will be transitioning to the opposite side. So let's get into it, let's start with a warm up, just get yourself into a nice bit of space here, just so you can't hit anything to the side of you. If you've got a yoga mat, you can use this for your Qigong practice. You'll see when we move to our Tai Chi practice, we take away the yoga mat altogether. Okay, so the stance is one of the most important things within the Tai Chi and Qigong practice. So we work from the feet upwards in terms of the warm up. So let's start. Let's draw our feet together. Let's place our hands on our knees. Let's take a couple of nice long breaths in and out just to center ourselves. Breathing in and out through the nose. Tongue is on the roof of the mouth. We're connecting the lower energy centers and the upper energy centers. So nice long spine here. Nice, long inhale, exhale. Breathing in and out. And give the body a little bit of a shake. Give the body a little bit of a relax. So you can relax the body. So one of the things with Tai Chi and Qigong, we want to relax the body as much as possible to get the energy flowing. Okay, so let's take our hands onto our knees. And let's work our ankles. We start with some nice knee circles. Circling to the outside. Working those, those ankle joints. Make sure your feet are placed nicely on the ground and then change to the opposite direction. And then bring the hands up to the waist. Let's take the feet. A little bit wider than hips, this is the part. We start with some nice hip circles clockwise to start off with. We always hold a lot of tension in the hips. So this particular movement will allow freedom in the hips. And one of the key things we want with entire Chi and Qigong, we don't want to trap the energy, it'll change to the opposite direction. We don't want to trap the energy. We want the energy flowing freely throughout the practice. And then let's step our feet together. Let's extend our hands up to the sky. Let's get a nice stretch through the body. Let's interlace the fingers at the top. And then extend over to the left hand side. Get a nice stretch along the right hand side. So we're getting a nice stretch here through the right hand side of the body. Feet are placed strongly on the ground. Feet are together here and then come back to the center line. Inhale, center line, extend a little bit further, then exhale over to the opposite side. Lovely. Feel a nice stretch along the left-hand side. Now come back to the center line. 
Inhale, and then an exhale over to the left hand side. Inhale, back to the center line, and then exhale over to the right hand side for the final time. Back to the center line, and then let the hands float down. Just give yourself a nice little shake of the hands there. Let's extend the hands forward. Nice circles moving forward. Let's relax the shoulders as much as possible. Feel the energy release, any tension releasing from the body. Let's extend the hands back over the head, reverse those circles now, or windmills, as some people like to call them. Extending the shoulders back and down, drawing the shoulder blades together will work to lengthen the spine. And then give the shoulders a nice little relaxing. Let's take the left hand across the body. Let's take the right hand above the elbow. Get a nice stretch on the shoulder capsule here where my hand is placing. Extending and lengthening that left hand across the body. Make sure the belly's tucked in here, drawn in. We want to encourage the strengthening of the abdominal wall which then supports the spine also. So then release that and then change over to the opposite side. Again, draw that belly in. We can get lazy sometimes, so it's important to remember the cues. You remember the cues, then they're always there for you. And let's just relax the shoulders out. Let's take the left hand, let's turn the left hand side. Let's take the left hand out in front. Let's take the right hand on top, fingers on the top there. And we're just getting a nice stretch through the lower wrist there. And then relax that, release the tension. Bring the right hand up to the opposite side. Releasing the tension. Why do we do that particular exercise? Because we want to, we want to create the opposite stretch in the wrist because a lot of people when they're working from home they'll get into the overpronation of the wrist here we get rsi repetitive strain injury because they're working on the computers and so forth so that's just the opposite stretch which helps to again to release tension so one of the key things we're doing always throughout this practice we're releasing tension what does that do that relieves stress stress is one of the biggest challenges that we face in our daily lives. So anything we can do to reduce that is super important. So let's now move into our first Qigong sequence. Let's take our hands down beside our body here, right at the center of gravity, what we call the Dantian. We're holding a ball of energy at this position, holding a big ball of energy. You might even think of it as a golden sun. We bring visualization into the practice. Now our feet are hips width distance apart, a little bit wider in our horse riding stance here. If this is your first time at this video, this is a horse riding stance. Knees are lightly bent, we've got a nice long spine. We always encourage a long spine. Breathing in and out as you're breathing in, the hands are expanding. Breathing out, the hands contracting. Not only the hands expanding and contracting, but the legs are extending and decreasing as we're moving in and out of the breath. This is a full body breath jiggle sequence. Holding that ball of energy between the palms. This is a settling exercise as well. Coming out of a stress state into a relaxed state. Standing meditation, Qigong. Now let's move into Butterfly Sweeping Part A. Butterfly Sweeping Part A, let's draw the hands together above the head, back and around the body, down, fully extending through. Extending through, drawing down. Butterfly Sweeping A, this is. Butterfly Sweeping A. We have four layers around the body, the mental, physical, energetic, and spiritual layers of energy. 
we are cleansing the energy field with this particular sequence butterfly sweeping sweeping the hands around the body and all the way down to the ground a couple of inches away from the body working on the first energetic field which is the mental energetic field now i find this particular sequence is great if you've been cooped up in a, a confined space for a period of time you've been in a train as an example or a car or a plane this is great for clearing any negative energy that's around you beautiful sequence now we're moving to part b part b extend the hands out to the side all the way through virtually letting the hands rainbow down all the way down light bend of the knees as you can see the knees are extending up and down as we're moving around extending that rainbow bridge around us going out as far as our energetic field Extending all the way through, lovely. Extending all the way down, beautiful movement. Butterfly sweeping, B. Pressing into the ground as moving up. Now butterfly sweeping, C. Butterfly sweeping, C. Same movement up. This time we draw the belly in. Draw the belly and support the spine, extending forward, then bend the knees and drawing up. Breathing in as we're going up, breathing out as we're going down. Drawing the belly in, extending forward. Beautiful movement, softly, nice and relaxed. And we'll do two more of these. Move the final part of the sequence, butterfly sweeping D. Final one. Before we go into butterfly sweeping D. Butterfly sweeping D, extend hands all the way out. Let's grab the energy through the earth and let's extend it up to the sky and rainbow all the way down. Beautiful energy that we're drawing for the earth. If you want to create a strengthening practice, a more hard qigong, then we clench the fist within the practice. That will strengthen the muscles, supporting the body, but creates a different energetic feeling. You'll notice that different energetic feeling as you're going through the movement. Now if you open the fingers, come into a soft qigong. Notice the change. Notice the difference in the feeling of that particular movement. And then we'll do two more of these. And we'll come back in into our full body breath. Last one. Come back into that full body breath. Let the energy settle around you. Let the heart rate settle down. Probably raise it a few beats during that particular movement. If you want to go more internal with the practice and close your eyes whilst you're in this full body breath. If you're okay, you feel a sense of balance within yourself. Now, honestly, it's up to you. You get different layers or different levels of feeling within the practice. Imagine you've got that ball of energy between the palms. You can feel that ball of energy you're working with life's energy internal external as you become more sensitive to the energy you can sense your heart rate settling down you can sense a feeling between your palms the energy you feel energy around the body Energy supporting you, got a nice long spine here, shoulders are back and down, fingers are nice and open white, feet are extended, really stretching into the ground, extending the toes, with as much separation between the toes as you can.
feel nice and relaxed in this position. Take your breath, take your awareness of your breath down to your center of gravity here, just below. Three fingers below the belly button is your center of gravity. Take that awareness. Just take a moment to feel in this particular movement your standing meditation chugong sequence. Now, let's slowly just bring the hands together, bring the feet together for a moment. Let's walk around a bit for a moment. Let's move around with the energy. Let yourself relax a little bit. Body's completely relaxed. You may not be used to standing for a period of time. Just give the feet a little bit of a shake. Let them relax a little bit. The shoulders. Any tension, just let the tension go. Standing meditation, moving meditation. So now let's move into our Tai Chi sequence. Let's move the mat out of the way. Move it over to the side. The tai Chi, where we're going, we don't need mats. So we don't need a mat for the Tai Chi sequence. We want the connection to the ground, the connection to the earth. You can practice Tai Chi and Qi Gong inside or outside. It's just a different energy. In nature's energy supporting you, you've got a different sense of awareness, right? You can feel the, the grass underneath your feet or the sand underneath your feet, wherever you decide to practice out in nature. In terms of uh, the different energy within the room, the energy is more enclosed because it's got nowhere to go, really. So you feel more connected to the energy and get the feeling, the sense of it um, at a more granular level. So let's recap where we got to with our Tai Chi practice and then we'll get to the end part of the portion and then we'll add a little bit on for the, for the next part today. So where did we get to? We got to our, our starting position. Knees are slightly bent. We're in our horse riding stance. We're holding balls of energy underneath our palms. We've got a nice long spine. We imagine we've got a line connecting heaven through running through the center of our spine, lengthening our spine nice and high, still got the bend of the knees, we've drawn the belly in, and we're nice and centered in our position. We're holding balls of energy underneath our palms, connecting to the earth. So our first movement is raising Chi or raising the energy, we're connecting to the earth, we draw the energy earth up to shoulder height and then let the hands relax. We do this three times. As you can see, the whole body is moving within the practice. This is number one of the strength of this particular practice. It's a whole body movement. The whole body has to be aware of what is going on. Final time, raising the cheek. Now we draw the elbows back, drawing the shoulder blades together. Then we press the energy down. This is called grounding the chi. So we're raising the chi energy, and then we're grounding the chi energy. It's a circular movement. You can feel the circular movement. You're drawing the energy up, taking the energy back, and then pressing the energy down. One more. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Now we come to our first movement. Yin rising, left hand rising up to shoulder height. Rainbows across the heart to the opposite side. We align with our left leg, drawing that into our right leg. And then we step out, heel toe, waving hands like the clouds to the left hand side. We do this three times. One. Two, looking towards through our fingers, at the edge of our fingers, at the rainbow across our heart. And then final time, we prepare for the alignment. Right foot draws into the left. And then we step out, 
heel toe, beautiful movement, extending the hands, elbows lightly bent. We want the energy to flow through our body. No trapping of the hips, no trapping of the body. The energy flows freely. We're able to hold that energy between each movement, holding the energy, palms are facing towards each other as we move through the movement. Now we align. We start to go into our pushing the ocean waves. Now you step back and across, stepping back and across. Nice wide stance, pivot on the right foot, faces forward, pivot on the left foot, 30 degree angle, drawing your hands into the front of the body. Now we draw the hands back, Inhale, exhale, pushing the ocean waves, one. Pivot on the left foot, drawing the hands into the solar plexus, pushing the energy out, final time. We're drawing energy from the earth, up through the leg, through the back of the body, into the palms, final time. So we've gone to our three movements of pushing the ocean waves. Now we're gonna move into our transition. So left hand, half moon circle, pivot right foot, right hand, half moon circle, align onto the right leg. And then we step back and across, over to the opposite side, coming back, getting ready for our pushing the ocean waves on the opposite side, drawing the hands in. Inhale, exhale, we've got a nice wide stance here. Don't trap the hips. Extend the hands, draw them in, pressing forward. So let's go through that, that transitional sequence again so you can really work on the detail, really think about what's happening within the movement. You're finished, your, your third pushing the ocean wave. Water element pushing the ocean wave. So you're finished here, right? Your left hand is now the one you're thinking of moving first. Your left hand moves, your left foot moves, right? Your right hand moves, your right foot moves. You align, you draw the left foot in, and then you step back and across. So notice the pivoting with the left foot, just like we did on the other side, and then pivoting with the right foot, just like we did on the opposite side, and then drawing the hands back into the solar plexus, and then pushing the ocean wave. Inhale in through the nose. Exhale, pushing out. Then we're drawing that belly, keep that belly tucked in, nice long spine. Let's do it one more time for added effort. Beautiful, okay. Let's do that one more time so we can really get the grip to this. My advice to you is slow it down if you need to, watch the movement, get join the moves together, become the movement, let go of the thinking mind just so the movement becomes natural. So if you come to the end of your third, pushing the ocean wave, you're here, beautiful, right? Your left hand rises, left hand pivots, right hand, Half moon circle, drawing the left hand in. We're, st we're still holding the energy. You can see this, we're still holding the energy. So we want to keep the energy all the way through. We're still holding the energy. We're still holding the energy. We can draw the hands back and then pressing forward. So throughout the movement, we're holding the energy within the body, right? We're holding it. We're just, it's like, we're hugging the energy in it. We don't want to let it go, right? We don't want to let it go. When we're drawing up to the sky, we're still holding the energy between the palms, right? And then even as we move in to the next transitional part of the movement, we're still drawing the energy in, we're still holding. And then we step, still holding, drawing back, still holding, and then Pressing forward. So we're holding the energy all the way through the movement. Super important, okay? So let's now go through the movement completely from start to finish. And we'll see how it all lines up together. But with, with 
a nice and relaxed focus and awareness. So let's come into our starting position. We're raising the chi three times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Final time. Really start to sink into the practice. Let go of the intention. Come into your heart center final time. Left hand in, right. Stepping out, waving hands like. See if you're going to hold the energy between the palms all the way through the movement. A lot easier said than done. Final time. Now we get to prepare to align on to the right leg. We step out. the energy between the palms all the way through the movement. Let's really slow it down, get in touch with the movement. Let's do two more here. Really get in touch with it. Now, if we align with the left leg, drawing the right leg in, stepping back and across, shifting into pushing the ocean weight, holding the energy between the palms, passing forward, Notice the pivot on the left foot. Inhale, exhale. Final time. Inhale, exhale. Half moon circle with the left hand, pivot the right leg. Half moon circle with the right. Stepping back and across. Make sure the hips aren't trapped. If you need to step out of the leg, then do so. Let the energy flow. One time. Beautiful. Now let's step the feet together. Extend, extend the hands up to the sky. Let's gather in the energy that we've just created. Let's gather it all. Imagine you're a big scooping machine, scooping that amazing energy that's around the body. Final time. Let's draw the energy, left palm into the dance end, lower belly, right palm on top. Nice big breath as we massage that energy in five times clockwise. And then nine times anti-clockwise. We're taking the warmth of that energy we've just created and massaging that into our body. That's helping our digestive system. That's helping us raise our energy. Tai Chi and Qigong are one of the few practices that you walk away, you actually have more energy than you started with. That's why it is so amazing. Let's rub the hands together. Let's generate some warmth between the palms. Let's massage that in any area that feels a little bit of tension. I always do every area of the body, all the major joints, because for me, Tai Chi and Qigong is also about a preventative practice. I want to live as long as possible. I want a strong immune system. I don't want any stress. Tai Chi and Qigong will allow me to live a healthy, happy, balanced life. So, I hope you've enjoyed this session today. I hope you found it valuable. You can obviously subscribe to the channel and you get notified when I publish these videos. We're averaging a couple a week um, to get them out there. I want everyone to, to view these because I realise that in this particular time, it's so important that people have quality resources that they can turn to to see their amazing 
health practices out there that support you in health. They don't cost a lot of money. They don't take a lot of time. So we've spent just on 30 minutes here doing a practice. You should have more energy than you started with. You should be more relaxed. You should be more calmer. And to me, that are the building blocks for a nice and healthy long life. Um, if you want to support these videos, then obviously pop on to patreon.com forward slash heavenly tai chi. There's a link below um, in the description which talks about the class itself. So pop in there, support me. You know, that helps get all these videos out and uh, support an artist like myself and a teacher um, over 10 years to really get the message out around the world. So thank you so much. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Remember, like, subscribe, any comments, pop them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much and namaste.